You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Archer After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Archer After Show. Ooh, yeah. Archer baby, it's Archer Vice. Where are we? Episode four? We're up to episode four episode already. Episode five oh four. Yes, episode five oh four, season five, number four, house call. And uh, I'm the host of the most tonight, Scott Moore. Woo-hoo! Along with the uh, two affable, wonderful co hosts. He's talking about me, sorry, Zach. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I knew it. <laughs> Uh, Roy Tahiri here. And Zach Wilson. And you may be thinking, somebody is missing. Not somebody at all. Somebody is <laughs> missing. I'm sure <laughs> people out there, well, it's true. Probably My heart saying. is crying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. We are missing Greg. Um, yep. Just yep. like the gypsy woman <laughs> said. <laughs> Actually, it's true. I knocked him off because, I mean, there's so much space over here this whole time. I had no idea. Zach is, and now I know what you deal with. I, right? Zach just keeps elbowing you. It's bad. Exactly. So that's oh. why I did knock Greg off this week. So I, I have more room to yeah. spread out. I mean, look at this. This is fantastic. I can stretch and kick. And <laughs> I love and it. More stretching. I know. This is fantastic. So this is great. But yeah, what a what a fun episode tonight. I, guys... I get to take the beard of the that's entire right. week. That's right. You're, have, you're representing the beard. I have the one sole only. beard ownership <laughs> on this show. <laughs> yes, that is right. Yeah, I mean, I know you've been trying. I've been, for black sales, yeah. I've been trying. Been trying. You know, <laughs> it worked, it grew, <laughs> and then it went away. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should try, you know. Yeah. It was close. So, yeah, you're representing. That's a lot of pressure for you, Zach. A lot of pressure. Okay, let's see what I got. Well, So, what did you think tonight's episode? It was funny. Yeah, I, I mean, um, I was not like I'm shocked that it's funny, but it was funny. <laughs> well, Zach and I were talking off camera. Uh, you know, that we were talking about the first couple episodes and how it's kind of ebbed and flowed and the funny and like, okay, after the very first episode, having to get us back into like this whole new world that Archer and company are involved in. And, you know, the second episode was good. I thought it was really funny. The third it kind of went, you know, like a little slower. But this episode was consistently funny. Um, you know, we, we, we kind of have a, a thread here with the birth of a couple characters here. Mm-hmm. We had the, the birth of the Koki monster. And at the very end of the episode, kind of jumping ahead, but we had the birth of Charlene. So mm-hmm. we had a lot of uh, a lot of new beginnings with this episode. Yeah, it finally felt like they were hitting their stride with this whole new Coke dealing yeah. regime. <laughs> oh, my God. That was hilarious when they opened with, uh, with Cyril giving the whole... <laughs> Stuff with the breakdowns and yeah. the, the they're, charts. they're not cocks. <laughs> and as soon as they cut to it, I'm like, they do kind of look good. The first one, the first one definitely, the first one yeah. On the left, definitely did, but it was mm-hmm. the, the little thermometer bulbs, which I thought was yeah. great because it brought me back to school. And once again, Cyril representing like Mr. Smarty Pants here throughout the entire episode, <laughs> having everything like broken down, mm-hmm. like talking in English words I didn't even know existed. I mean, what was one of the words that he used? I don't even know what it was. E- exigent. He used exigent circumstances at some point with the whole thing. I'm like, what is he even talking about? He's not even speaking English anymore. He's like, lawyer lees. It's like weird. We're just used to Archer and how he talks. That when we hear Cyril, we're like, <laughs> smart words? We're like, what? Cyril, wow. I'm breaking it all down, which was great in, in kilos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which, you know, the great thing about Archer is you really do learn something new every day. Because I did not know it was only us, Liberia, and Burma. Is that really true? Are those the only countries that don't use meters? You didn't know that meters? the U.S. only did that? No, I didn't know it was just us, Liberia, and Burma. I didn't know it was just those two I didn't countries. know it was the other two. I knew we definitely Well, I know we don't. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I, I mean, I'm dumb and I'm a little slow, but I'm not that slow. Per se. I, know, I was aware we didn't actually. But I learned something. I, learned something. I mean, thank you. That's how I feel. I'm like, wow, am I really? Do I come across that dumb? I mean, maybe I do. I love all the comparisons. Like he's like, you know, I meant pounds, like Doctor like Who Doctor money. Who money. <laughs> yeah, it was like six, six million dollars. He's like, I meant pounds, not weight. But yeah, 
I even wrote the little squiggly L, that little fancy pound sign. <laughs> See, I'm still kind of smart. Go. Right? Yeah, you did the yeah, sign. I didn't I know you. The little fancy L sign for pounds. You really <laughs> did do it. I did. <laughs> so you can see it. From my I notes. can. But not sure what the point was. <laughs> <laughs> made me feel smart, you know. Okay, because I already felt dumbed down. But yeah, Liberian Burma, and us. So I feel like we're U.S. We really are assholes, aren't we? We make everyone else convert back for us. You know, it's crazy. So Why yeah. Not? Why not, right? We I have know, Archer. Why not? <laughs> That's right. USA. Yeah. USA. <laughs> USA. Kind of getting that pre-Olympic uh, spirit here, which we'll talk about a little bit later. See, I keep teasing. I'm trying to do the teases. I can't do the segues like Greg. Stick <laughs> around you're gonna, for you're gonna, more. <laughs> you're going to have to help me with the segues here because I can't do them. Nobody can do them like Greg goodness. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, we, we open with that and, and the crazy, you know, moment when, when Pam basically, you know, Mallory threatens to send her to rehab, mm-hmm. which, you know what, Pam's looking pretty good right now. She seems like she was, at that moment, it seemed like she was under control besides the mm-hmm. being more cocaine thing. She seemed like she was under control. Or yeah. just like, she's in a good place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? That shot of her, of her body as yeah, he says yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't see really her body transformation until she stood up from yeah. the desk and you see your body, as yeah. you said in the shot. Yeah, they, they show her literally just from the tit up. Yeah. <laughs> the tit up. In between the elbow. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> or arm reach. I love that. They show them from the tit up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because then they, um, they tie her down. You know, because they've got. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. Well, too. after Woodhouse smacked her with a skillet. And yes, by the way, Woodhouse back. Like, how did he escape from wherever he was the past couple episodes? He finally escaped, and it seems like he's back to normal. Like of making. He got tired of and, trying to swim and sleeping in his right. home so, or exercising and exercising yeah. in that uh, old timey gym and <laughs> fixing the pool in the old timey uh, Biltmore State Pool. So he's back. Yeah. Well, he's got to make breakfast on time, or else Archer <laughs> gets missed. He's gonna be four minutes. Yeah. Late after he uh, whacks Pam on the head with the with the skillet, which is a good uh, reminds me of the old drug. Uh, but I'm sure that's why they did it. Oh. You know? This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. I didn't even catch that reference. Ah, see, that's I what like I thought it. of. Oh. See? Nice. See, U.S. does see? do something good, does, huh? Right? <laughs> drug ads. That's what I'm thinking. Somewhere, you know, Nancy Reagan's just muttering to herself, "Just say no to drugs." Just oh, okay. somewhere right now, somewhere in some big Bel Air mansion. But yes, yeah, so that's why I thought of with that with that whole reference. But so knocks her out. They tie her up. <laughs> We get a little uh, Tittenfreude. Tit yeah, Tittenfreude. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, it was the tit bondage porn that mm-hmm. everyone thinks that they're I love that the, on- the gag they had, like the running gag they have with Archer not watching yeah. pornography. Yeah. yeah, which was fantastic, too. He was like, what was it? Like, he said he didn't have the uh, the internet. He had uh, Minitel. <laughs> Minitel. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, though? Is that, like, is that a real, like, French carrier because you said it was only works in france is that a real internet provider in france well i, I just so. came from france and, and? I, I don't know i'm just kidding oh okay france. i thought you were gonna add like <laughs> no. your no so you're supposed to have the smart comment i just came from france and you know we had our i've been to vegas you know paris and vegas okay is that the same <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah the <laughs> i paris think that casino. means something else in right, paris right though, exactly in vegas. I'm like, come on, come on, everyone, let us know. Yeah. What is Minitel? Is that a real uh, <laughs> phone carrier or something in france but yeah i thought it was funny no internet but i got Minitel. Uh, and it was great though, because I mean, you were watching them like tighten the ropes on. <laughs> Arch- I was like, "Whoa, wow!" It was, it was Archer that was the one saying tighter, right? Yeah. yeah. So, he, and he claims it's because she's a beast and she can get out of it, but really, it's probably just a in- which which she was right. He was yeah. right. On. He was absolutely right. Because that's when we the then, Cokie monster. Yes, yeah. we see the birth of the Cokie monster, and mm-hmm. she goes like ape crazy. I was gonna be like ape beep crazy, <laughs> and like. <laughs> Tears the ropes off, and you know she's like a monster, a beast. Like, she's the she's, Hulk. She's got to get that coke, you mm-hmm. know. It's she like, might as well ugh. be green and half dead. Yeah, just <laughs> dying. It's bright. It's great. It's bright. It's bright. And then she steals Cheryl. <laughs> yes, and she like carries her. Carries her. <laughs> I love how Cheryl was turned on by all Cheryl's of that. Cheryl's turned on. <laughs> Cheryl's turned on by everything i know right so. but I, I have to admit as like a gay man i'd be kind of turned on by her like yeah. lifting me up and like carrying me over her shoulder and like want, and want to attack me like godzilla and have her way with me it's kind as of a hot. straight man i think right I'd so that's what i'm saying i think everybody would come on you gotta join yeah. in that wouldn't that turn you on too sure <laughs> I'm, I'm hopping in the bandwagon I mean, for come it, on yeah. like a hot like pam the cokey monster yeah. like just taking control and she's in shape so she looks good she's taking or not control. in shape like I was. I was actually expecting Archer to like try to make a move on Pam. It could still happen. Yeah, so they, we were talking about in previous episodes. It could still happen. They, well, they have they have a past. Yeah, where they were hooking up, and right. it was apparently really great for Archer. 
And now just, Pam's looking good. And she's like high on coke, so you know Super she's, she's going to be ready to go. Yeah, she's strong, and she's going to be ready to keep going on and going mm-hmm. on like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> Unless she up. gets tired going up the stairs and she needs more coke. That's <laughs> like, true. That was like, she was walking her up the stairs. She starts to slow down. Yeah. Like uh. Cheryl, Cheryl's like, you have a problem. The solution is more <laughs> coke. <laughs> <laughs> to your left, the yeah. solutions to your left. Speaking of solutions, now I can't do yeah, it do it, do it. What's our problem? <laughs> too many to, oh. too many to. Start, we we got to get out of here quickly today, so you know we can't go into that. But speaking of non-solutions, uh, who goes rap a tap tap knocking on the door? But the uh, the FBI agent Holly. That's right. Scary times. Oh, I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Where did you think I was going to go? I was huh? totally back in a different direction. <laughs> See? Look at that. I totally fooled you on the segue. <laughs> uh, yeah, he comes bursting in the door. Cyril's like, no, no, no. no you we can't be in. He's like, you can only come in if we do all these things. And what I was like, uh. <laughs> well, the great thing was like, I invited him in. And it was so like, I, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, are they going to make a reference to the vampires from like True Blood? And <laughs> yeah. they totally did, yeah. which was awesome. It's like, none unlike the vampires, where as long as we're invited in, then it's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woodhouse. Yeah, Woodhouse inviting in yeah. the, uh, the FBI agent. But yeah, once again, Cyril's like, Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. In Control, lawyer, like, okay, this is how you can't come, you know, you can't do this. As long as the coke isn't out for everyone to see, then they have no reason to, like, suspect anything. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty until they hear a scream. Yeah, until they hear a scream, and then he has to go to their defense. Mm-hmm. There's a woman <laughs> screaming yes. upstairs. And I loved it, too, when he's like, oh, God, I'm coming. Remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Said Ripley My to God, the Android. I'm coming. Yeah. Said Ripley to the Android Bishop. Which, by the way, Ray apparently can get his legs back. If, I know. Uh, <laughs> if he just gets a little reboot. But I know poor Krieger's been like holding out on him. Yeah. That's so cruel <laughs> this whole time. He's got a valid point. It's more entertaining to see Ray this way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you're like seeing poor Ray like totally continues to decline every week. You know, mm. it's like so sad. <laughs> Which <laughs> Krieger, Ray. Krieger totally disappeared for a little while. He was missing for like the last two weeks, wasn't he? He was, he popped in he, randomly. He like did. he had the potty. The camera. Oh, you can put a camera here. You can right. put a camera here. And just the second angles. week, but last week was he there? I think because that was the whole point. Like I, he emerges from the the catacombs. <laughs> and they're like, "Where have you been, Grieger?" Maybe I don't know. Wasn't uh, it with the point? his wife came into the topic, didn't she? Yeah, the the I thought last it was week. Last week. Why am uh, I blanking? I'm on? blanking too. Oh, uh, his I, wife totally made a racist thing. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Because Chinese is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just totally blank. It's like once it's almost like you uh, prep for the test, and then once mm-hmm. you do the test, it's like Psh, forget everything. It's like okay, one day I watch the show, and I like spent so much time coming up with the topics, and then I'm like I forgot whatever happened last week. <laughs> so my I theory, I I said no to it myself <laughs> in the process <laughs> of a minute. Uh, but then Holly comes in, and he's <laughs> he's, he's Ron. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, Ron, who's in like the hospital bed now in the corner of the room. We don't know anything about a shootout. Mm -mm. What about him? Yeah, mumps. Mump. They like gout mumps. Five different things they had. Oh, poor Ron, which we'll have to get to in a little bit as well. Poor Ron, I guess. I don't know. It's a tease, you guys. Another one. Another tease. Just throwing them in left and right. Everyone's like, let's just get to it. No. (laughs) No, no tease. Stay tuned for more. I'm curious, what do you guys think about Archer? <laughs> what do you guys think about Archer just being like, no more, uh, like, this joke's done. Nobody's doing this, using this anymore. Oh, yeah. Nobody's using yeah. phrasing yeah. anymore. Yeah. It was interesting. Do you guys remember which episode that originally came from? Or what season? Phrasing? I was like, uh, season one. Or did they just one? start calling I, know, I feel it like that. that was from the very beginning, but... I'm pretty sure phrasing was, like, season one. Okay. Like, an old, old gag. Mm-hmm. But it's always been one of my favorites. I use it in real life, because it's... <laughs> Oh, it's just perfect for every situation. <laughs> Fair. It's so much better than that's what she said. No. No. That's, not at all. That's, that's, that's a, what she that's said. A, that's a classic. It's a classic. It really is. I like I phrasing. Think, I think we need a debate. People need to tell us which I one's agree. better, phrasing or that's what she said. And I where agree. can they do it? And where can they do it? Look at that. Right? Picking up on the segue what, there. What? Woo! <laughs> it's so hot. I can feel the heat coming over here. That's right. They can do that on iTunes. It's this amazing thing that you can get. Like right, it comes through the air, and you can get it wirelessly on your mobile device what? or your tablet. That's it's crazy. Crazy. So you get Tell on me more. witchcraft. It is. It's like magic, <laughs> and you can get on there, and you can rate us. Of 
course, all five stars because why would you like give us anything less than that? Four and a half? Might as well just go to five. <laughs> exactly. Two? Ra- might as well up. just round up to five. Round up to five, of course. <laughs> Let us know what you're thinking, guys. Let us know. Yeah. We want to hear from you. We want to interact with you. We want to know what you're thinking about the show. We want to know what you think of us. It helps keep the lights on. Especially crazy on YouTube. Thing. On YouTube as oh, well. Oh, the YouTubes. The YouTubes mm. is fantastic. I love reading the comments every week. I really do. I do. Yeah. It's what Start, keeps it's what keeps my heart a beaten. <laughs> Start a debate with us. Yes. Why not? Let's yeah, let's have like one of those like arguments. Yeah. Yeah, I love a good argument. Like let's have a debate, like a real debate people. So let us know what you're thinking. Get on the iTunes, get on the uh YouTubes, get on the whatever else there is out there. What are the other ones? Afterbuzz.com. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right, because you're watching it live now, yeah. and then you're going to watch it again tomorrow mm-hmm. by downloading it on iTunes and the YouTubes and all the other magical internet things that you can. That's yeah. right. Fabulous. Right. That was great. Yeah, so segueing back mm-hmm. to where we were with the FBI, did you like that whole scene with um, with Lana and Archer when they're in the room with, with Woodhouse, and, and basically Lana's sort of talking to herself at the very beginning, mm-hmm. like to her unborn baby? This whole debate, like if she goes to prison and what happens to the baby, is the baby in prison too? <laughs> She's having this whole philosophical conversation with herself. I feel like I've seen this scene before with her and Archer talking and where they make up and they mm-hmm. say, I can't go without you. I feel like I've seen that scene before. Was it in the flashback or the flash forward? The flash Maybe, forward? but I don't know, but I've seen this whole sequence with Woodhouse on the ground. I've seen this uh, Ooh, sequence before. Like and I don't deja know. Deja vu, like you're like, Seen I'm the future freaking now. out, man. Massive Ooh. deja vu. Yeah. Zach was with me. I'm like, yeah. I've seen this. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Just think you get psychic powers. It's yeah. only to know what happens in Archer <laughs> in the future. Yes, it's but only, that's all it's <laughs> But only one Four. scene. You yeah. only get one <laughs> scene no. per it's, episode. Yeah, got Woodhouse it. in it. That's all that matters. Uh, Woodhouse, right. Lana, and Archer. And Rim Jobs, apparently, too. And Rim Jobs, yes. <laughs> Rim Jobs. But did you, um, did you like the fact that uh, it was kind of cute, I thought, that Archer was kind of looking into, like, pregnancy issues mm-hmm. because he rattles off all the possible pregnancy complications and i mean he thinks he's the daddy yeah basically yeah. is what they're setting up yeah exactly i was waiting for lana to say you are the daddy right but that, but that would happen. be too obvious and too mm-hmm. easy right i mean mm-hmm. do you think it would still be too easy out for him to be the dad or should it be somebody completely no, it different? should be him yeah I agree. I agree. But I thought it was cute. It was like that little moment where it was like, oh, he like really does care. Yeah. He's looking up the pregnancy complications to make sure Lana's okay. And he wants, he's like knowledgeable on it. It was cute. <laughs> it would I be, it. it would be interesting because we had Seamus. Yeah. Little wee baby Seamus yeah. a few years <laughs> Which, ago. Wherever he went to. Yeah. He's God off. rest his soul. <laughs> he's off somewhere with his hooker mom. Yes. Um, but it would be interesting to give him a baby he actually has to take care of. Mm-hmm. And is not Cyril's baby, right? Yeah. Well, that's sort of what I was saying a couple episodes ago. Was like, I think even though it would change the dynamic so much of the show, it would be really cool to have this whole other character here to have this baby and and you know because you can do whatever you want with animation. So bring the baby in there, make it a new character, and make them have to kind of change what they're doing a little bit. You know, the kind of especially if they're all going to prison next year like who knows yeah they, they really want to do that well i don't know what you're gonna do with the baby if you go to prison I mean, well now we do know they go you know. they don't even dry them off they I know. Them <laughs> well that's what adoption. i was wondering i was thinking about i was like were they like sort of setting it up because you, they're saying like adam reed so much wanted to maybe do this whole prison thing the next season are they Ooh. setting up like now they're gonna send that's their way to send the baby off and then maybe in the future they find a way to get it back but yeah it was like they didn't even dry the baby off I don't know. Maybe I'll save that for it's predictions. Con- like conjures such think. a <laughs> it conjures such a gross image. I know. It's still got its fluids all over. I mean, they're just like the walking canal and the uterus. <laughs> they're walking it up to the the orphanage. It's like <laughs> it's dripping still in birth mucus. Oh. <laughs> well, on that top. Speaking of birth mucus. <laughs> Now here's a good segue. We're talking about Ron leaving, you know, leaving birth canals. Ron's Finally. leaving, the, leaving the, the nest. Right? Finally. I mean, I, mean, I love I love Ron, but he takes up so much crap from Mallory that finally he stands up and right. I'm done and walks out. And when she goes, what about my apartment that's in your name? She sorry. Like, sorry, too bad. And <laughs> I'll mail you my rugs. Well, I love that. Like, I'll ma- no, that was the best part. It was like, I'll mail you, my, mail you your furs. And she's like, at least send them by a bonded courier. <laughs> I insist on that. Like I was like, that's all she cared about. The I was like, wow, she's more interested in making sure the furs were sent by a bonded courier than about her whole crushing relationship with exactly. Ron. Wow. So you can see where her priorities are. But, <laughs> but we do get a little reference to Len Trexler. Yes. Which do you think it could Len be coming back? That's what I was wondering. I was like, is Len coming back? Did Len have more involvement? Was he the secret? 
guy at the the middleman drug dealer that she was talking to was he involved was that who was the secret person she was talking to question could you <laughs> thank you for raising me? your hand <laughs> could you remind me who len trexer zach i'll let you take that one <laughs> since i had to answer since it, you for had you to do it for me oh thanks <laughs> make me look bad now on well, len trexler <laughs> was the was the head of odin this is creepy out what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Len Trexler was the head of Odin, who um, was played by Jeffrey Tambor early on, and then he was going to marry Mallory and buy Isis. And so instead of letting him do that, Archer got the Soviet chip and installed it in Len Trexler's brain, that, making him think that, well, basically like, taking away any intelligence that he had to the point where he was just obsessed uh-huh. with his bunny and the bunny's <laughs> brother, which was the lettuce. This sounds, okay. Yes. I'll Zach, you did that. a really amazing uh, recap there, which I yeah, never would you. have been able to do. So thank you so much for that. And it's a good point that you say that with the whole brain chip thing. Because it talks about, you know, that's what basically was going on with the brain chip, with the, with the birth of Shirlene, the new country singer now that uh, Cheryl Carroll is going to be. So you're right. They're kind of bringing it all back here. So are they going to be bringing Len back? Is Ron out for good? So many questions. I mean, so few answers. If they were going to get rid of Ron for good, I feel like why didn't they just him kill him yeah, last for, week? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Like, why wouldn't they just kill him then in the last episode, or was it just make it easier, I'm messier? Sure, he'll probably be back. Yeah, well, he's got to. Maybe he's going to hand deliver those furs because you know <laughs> they couldn't find a bonded courier. I don't know. Now so Mallory's questions. living in the mansion too. Right now she's stuck <laughs> in the mansion. I know. Ugh. So many, so many questions. So I'm sure we'll see that next week. What do you guys think about Shirlene? Like coming, she comes in with the, just dragging mm. the guitar yeah. and a plaid shirt. At first I thought the chip maybe had changed her whole personality, right. but then when she dragged the guitar, I was like, nope, she's, <laughs> no, still, she's still in there. there. Yeah. She wanted her breakfast of, what was it? The uh, eggs and the Carolina uh, I didn't potatoes. write them. Car- it was like, I wrote down like three fr- pages of notes. Six and fried eggs and Carolina fries or... See, I'm a southern boy, and all that sounds delicious anyway. It's just throwing some grits and some fried okra and some biscuits and gravy, and I'm there. This is a little bit random, but one of my favorite lines from Archer also was when they were downstairs, and they're trying to get the thing to flip, and he goes, Jesus Christ, haven't you guys heard of a thing called Scooby-Doo? scooby I know that was fantastic. <laughs> I'm just putting a picture in Young Frankenstein. Put the candle yes. back. <laughs> so but that was great. They flip around. They're, so they're going to have so much more fun with the mansion. Uh, yeah. See, clearly. All these yeah. things in the mansion. Just every week there's something new to be discovered about that mansion. It's just never ending. It is the Except infinite mansion. The historic Tunt Manor. I wish. I wish we could be there and visit it for real. Except, Except what? Except what about we won't be there next week or the week after that? I know, which, which moves it up to our, our quick news and gossip here. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Willikers. TV news. Oh, yeah. Gossip. So what's the deal? What's the deal, FX? Three-week break just because of the Olympics, I'm, we're assuming? WTF. Well, two week. Gossip? Two week. Two week we're break. two weeks off. And then return. <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. Right. So taking two weeks off, I'm guessing for the Olympics. Like, come on, lame. Olympics really? isn't running the Olympics. All right, I can NBC. see it on NBC because you're running the Olympics during that time slot. But what is up with that? And plus, nothing good is on the Olympics at no. Monday night at ten o'clock. You want to have counter programming, so I don't know what FX is thinking. I don't even know what time that is in Russia. Yeah, I don't know. It's Somebody like, with a clock. It's like the next day there. I'm just, I don't know, guys. I'm just disappointed. I'm super disappointed. Disappointed. We want a counter programming, Vex. And now we got to wait until February 24th. Thanks a lot. Ugh, so, what a are, lot, Obama. Just so, yeah, it's all Obama's <laughs> fault, apparently. All right, so what are we going to do? Let's predict something real quick. Let's predict something. Quick prediction. <laughs> quick predictions here. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Predict something, Zach. Beard first. Yes, the beard is first. Um, I think next week we're going to see Archer hook up with Pam on their little road trip. Mm-hmm. Or in three weeks from now. Three. Making us wait for three freaking weeks. I would throw this mug, but I don't want to make a mess. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't want to spill the water. Predict something. Uh, somebody's going to get shot. <laughs> Ray is not going to get his legs back in the next episode. I think it's going to take one more. I think, yeah, the they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna make now. sure they... they I was going to say spread that out, but it sounds really wrong. But that's what she said. Stretch it out. They're going to stretch it out. (laughs) And I'm going to say Len is back. Len is back, and he's going to be back in Mallory's life. In the next episode or? In three weeks from now. Okay. Yes. February 24th, people. Mark my words. He's back. All right. That wraps it up for another exciting edition of The Archer Show. Where can we find you guys? 
Uh, you can find me on Twitter at that Zach Wilson. You can also catch me here at AfterBuzz on Grim, uh, Helix, and Almost Human coming back tomorrow. And guys, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at HeyRoya. That's H-E-Y-R-O-Y-A. And I'm also on SNL and Chosen and other stuff, but I don't know. (laughs) Yes, and I am doing the last week of Klondike this Wednesday. And I'm also doing stand-up comedy. Next show will be Sunday, February 23rd if you're in the L.A. area. 8 o'clock in the belly room of the comedy store. And you can find me on Twitter at SMAN80. S-M-A-N-8-0. All right. I'm going to go heckle you. Go heckle me, please, and sympathy laugh. (laughs) Sympathy laugh. (laughs) (laughs) From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.